I'm Gus, and I'm going to show you how to set the SharperTech uh, plastic welder. Uh, the first thing, if we want to replace the horn, is take off the uh, screw. And this may need two people, but uh, hold the, uh, the converter and then uh, this will have to be opened. This way. Take the horn out. The stud has to be always screwed in. If it keeps on coming out, you may want to put some Loctite, the blue Loctite in there and keep it in. You never put the blue Loctite or any Loctite at the top thread because you don't want to bind the horn into the uh, machine. So you always put the blue Loctite at the, between the stud and the horn and you tighten it well. That will keep the uh, horn from backing up. Uh, I'm going to look for the other horn that we're going to use today. And uh, always make sure that the converter, the surface is clean. It's always a good idea to put some dielectric grease at the interface where the horn meets the converter. And that will keep, that will give you another half a turn It'll keep it nice and tight to transmit the power better. I'm going to find now the uh, stud. Put the stud in there. Tighten the stud a little bit. Also, again, you can put some blue Loctite if you're having some backup problems. And uh, this is how we, you can uh, damage the converter if you have the wrong, if you it goes in wrong. But I got it in right. If it's cross-threaded, you can damage the converter, which is a very expensive item here. That's why it's better not to keep on switching horns better to have two machines tuned properly and they run forever on the same part rather than replacing the horns every day. Uh, for this type of horn I need to find a piece of metal that goes in here so I can turn it. always has to be tight. The tighter the better, that way it transmits the energy better. Um, put the last stud in. And uh, we're going to show how to align the horn now. So I'm going to go get the base for that horn. This is the 
space. Remove the old jig. Put the new jig in here. And then I'll unscrew the post. Lower it. And then I'm gonna tune the machine. Seems to be properly tuned. Uh, now I want to try to align the horn. So I go down on the part to barely touch it and tighten the, the opposite screws. Hold it tight, tighten it that way. And then go up, and down again, tighten opposite sides, go up, and go down slowly on it, tighten it some more, always going opposite sides, and that automatically tightens and the lines the horn at the same time. Once you're down, you're done. You raise the post and make sure that you can load and unload the part. Let's need some more. So the part can be you don't want to raise it too much. Once it's all aligned, you tighten the post again. Because if you don't, the horn will sway. You get a bad weld or miss weld. That's the most important thing here. In order to make sure that you have proper frequency, you set the uh, the setting here on manual. You let the uh, you let it down and you try it, and that's good. And uh, we have a good weld. Thank you.